Hello everyone, we will continue with 5.2 reactions of acids and bases. Um, in this video, we'll be looking at <coughs> uh, the third row of this table for understanding why um, aluminium oxides and zinc oxides, they're amphoteric. That's what will be covered. And at, by the end of this video, I would like you to be able to know um, uh, what products will be produced. Okay, so let's look at oxides then. So, amphoteric oxides. What would that mean again? What, what, what would amphoteric mean again? Amphoteric means they can react with base as well as acid. Um, so they would neutralize um, whichever they are reacting with. So if it's reacting is reacting with acid, it will neutralize the acid. And if it's reacting with base, they can um, neutralize the base. And they don't react with water because they're fairly stable as ionic compound. For example, aluminium oxide has got uh, quite stable property. Therefore, you would find them um, as window ledge, window frames. Uh, that's made of aluminium, but there's a layer of aluminium oxide, which is dull color compared to, say, shiny um, alfoil that you would see in the kitchen. Um, they don't react with water, but um, they can be reacting with acids and bases if you have got very strong ones, it's strong and concentrated um, acid and bases. If you'd like to uh, find out what's gonna happen to these um, coke cans, um, yeah, click on that um, the hyperlink that, that's highlighting the aluminum oxide, and you can see the destiny of how they would turn out. Um, reacting with bases, if you have got um, zinc oxide or aluminium oxide and let that react with bases, what's going to happen is they will make um, oxy anions. Oxy anions. So it's anions with oxygen in it. So for aluminium oxide, uh, when they react with base, what will come out is aluminate, aluminate ion. So which is Al. O2 minus and also water. Remember, it's a neutralization reaction. Um, this is where aluminium oxide is acting, acting as acid and neutralizing the base it reacted with. If it's zinc, uh, zinc oxide, sorry, and react with strong base, it neutralizes the base, therefore you get water, as well as this ion, zincate ion. Uh, so that is zinc. Uh, as a ZnO2, 2 minus. They are amphoteric, therefore they can react with acid as well. Fun. Yeah, reaction with acid. Um, so they would, sorry, zinc oxide and aluminium oxide would act as base this time. And they would make oxy acid. Sorry. Uh, they would make just some um, ions of metals and water. So if it's aluminium oxide that you add it into acids, then they would make aluminium ion, Al3+, and also water. If it's zinc oxide and you put that into acid, you get Zn2+, zinc, zinc um, ion, as well as water. So basically what I'm trying to say is, um, Zinc oxide and aluminium oxide, when they react with base, makes oxyanion and water. And if um, they react with acid, they would make a metal ion and water. Now, at this point, you can do this activity. Uh, you can find this quizlet. You can either click on this link um, that says acid base uh, common reactions and e examples. Um, or alternatively, you can go to quizlet.com, um, find, sorry, search for my name, Akikuchi, and uh, find Akikuchi's Mr. Uh, sorry, Mr. Akikuchi's Year 11 Chemistry. And we'll do those questions that's written there later on in, in class.